Apollo Kage is continuing his meteoric rise into the top player area in Smash Ultimate with his Smash Ultimate Summit 6 run. He decimated his pool in close sets, but still, you know, won every set, and then also beat Void to end up getting top 8 at Smash Ultimate Summit 6. So we are going to be watching his victory against both Gluto and Leo because I'm kind of surprised he beat both of them. So literally what happened is I watched game one and two of this set and Gluto looked in firm control. And then game three, he was winning by like a stock. And then I literally put my phone down as I like finished preparing my food and I just assumed he lost. And then suddenly I like look at Twitter 15 minutes later and it's like, holy shit, AK beat Gluto. I was like, what, <laughs> what happened? Snake has a really easy time walling Wario out, but obviously the more that both of them are camping, the more likely it is that Wario gets whopped. So even if like Snake wins this matchup, it's like winning, but scary because like one advantage can just be stock. Yeah, Gluto top platform camping. Cause again, he's about to get full waft. So like no reason not to. And then once he gets full waft, there's no reason for AK not to just hard camp the entire time because waft is there already. This is the interesting thing about snake matchup is like you see Gluto losing here. And I'm pretty sure what happens is he just grenade trades twice, but getting the, ex the little bit of extra damage on uh, your combos because you're the one hitting the snake plus both of you take the grenade damage. Like that's just enough to skew it in your favor. And that's literally why Gluto starts winning is because he goes for like accurate grenade trades. That's like a, such an important thing is knowing when grenade trades, even on the same stock are going to benefit you. Good C4 attempt because I honestly expected Gluto to double jump there because he's been platform top platform camping a lot, which is why AK put the C4 up there. The shield break, that's what happens. I forgot about that. Again, really smart. You'll see Sephiroth players do this as well uh, against Snake because they have to hide and shield a lot with grenades and stuff. And then you just get like down smash popped by Sephiroth. Look at how long AK's holding shield here, right? So it's like flash there, not that big flash there, not that big, holding it for like a second and then holding it for like another second. And then honestly, he tried to like hit the, I think the waft hit the grenade or like there was so much lag that the grenade also would have blown up anyway, which would have broken the shield regardless of if the waft did or not. That up smash is great. Again, like, I'm sorry, I know this is the AK video. I promise the compliments will come later. It's just Gluto's play doing anti snake stuff well, and I always view the snake matchup as the opponent of the snake. So I'm sorry, okay? I apologize. It's just how I look at the game. That bite was so good. Jesus Christ. Because you expect AK to shield there because of the grenade. Wow, that was good. Oh, back here didn't hit. AK's playing suddenly really well, but Waff being online means that one landing up air is death. Or semi-rising up air. Oh, because I think grenade comes out here. One, two, three. So the air dodge would have been one frame off. Oh, I guess the double grenade damage. Again, avoiding C4s. What happens? Not only does AK have to win this game, but he has to win another two games. How? What is ha He has waft. Gluto's the hardest player on Earth to edge guard. Air dodge. Yeah. Oh, no. Doesn't go for it. Did it fall off? Where's the sticky? What? Oh, yeah. I'm just too early on the grenade. Okay, well, shit. That was a good comeback. Still has waft. No double jump. No waft. What? Why didn't he waft there? He was absolutely. He was right, obviously. Wadi's rob is the hardest rob to edge guard, but I still get it sometimes. Gluto is fucking impossible to edge guard. Okay, great pressure. Yolo waft there did not hit. Ow, so much damage. AK's winning. Oh, good DI by AK, but almost got backer because of it. I'm honestly so surprised that didn't kill. Grenade coming down. Yep. Dash attack. Not going to get the kill, though. Up tilt. Yeah, hits the ledge jump. Wow. I mean, Gluto had that game like several times, but I mean, hey, AK kept composure and kept it close because like he was still losing by a ton. Yeah, makes sense to parry there. That was a big greedy by Gluto, but he does that all the time and people don't punish it, so I don't blame him. Oh, yeah, AK's getting really tricky with, like, his timings and, like, he's just, like, running circles around him and hopes that it confuses him, and currently, it's working. Yeah, and Gluto finally backs up and is like, I'm gonna reestablish myself. Ow. Great trades for AK. Oh, God, that was so much damage. Like, he was at 40, sorry, 54, and then just suddenly he's like, 90. The trade was so stupid. 
I just assumed he was going to get up tilt like now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, grenade. Up tilt? No? So close to... He was actually so close to dying. What frame was this for for Gluto? Hold up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I mean, if it traded, it would have been bad. So he needed to be two frames faster. And yeah, this is the hard part, right? Like, oof. Yeah, Gluto overcoming to grab. Grab is very, very important versus Snake, but expected a dash forward. Uh, that sticky was ridiculous. What the fuck? What? I can't tell if that was on purpose or he just wanted to see for the floor. Oh, nice dash attack. Yeah, and of course, like, he has the huge lead and Gluto needs to get this kill without oft, but he was able to get a ton of damage because of it. <laughs> yeah. The set is so much longer than the other set I'm watching of this. <laughs> it can kind of fucks Leo up. That worked at that percent? Really? I mean, again, Gluto should be DIing out here, but I don't think he was ready for him. To, I mean, obviously, he wasn't ready to get hit. But I'm surprised even it worked at 108. Goddamn. Ow, 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 ow. Man. Oh, good. Oh, still got the tech. I guess they're supposed to tech in and, you know, hope they don't read it. Jesus Christ, Gluto's getting sauced. He is playing, he's like not respecting grenades nearly enough anymore, and uh, AK notices that and is just fucking him up for it. I'm assuming a waft happens pretty soon. He died across stage? I thought he was gonna get to the other side. 62? Ooh, yeah, still running into grenades. I feel like Gluto's grenade discipline has been like, not great when he's trying to approach like he's not trying to hit the right parts of snake and AK's like oh you're not doing the right thing grenade 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 like there's no point in respecting someone if they're not going to do the thing that you need to respect you know what I'm saying and snake has so much that you like need to do the like need to deal with it the right way and if you're not doing that it becomes so hard what was that was that half off but hey this is what I was talking about the mashing down air this is literally the mash down air right I don't I mean again it doesn't really matter um but Frame three. I'm a genius. Yeah, GG's. Great reverse zero. So, so the thing that, I, I was talking to people about this on Twitter and the funniest thing about this is like, he could have just drop shield up tilted, but went for a re-grab for some reason. He didn't go for the forward tilt because he probably would have got hit by the grenade since Gluto had access to the grenade, but like drop shield up tilt, Again, guess the kill doesn't really matter but i find it very funny that like he had an easier in my opinion thing and just didn't go for it but hey we take those this set this set is a little bit nastier ak hits some crazy stuff like that was like solid snake play with some like interesting little things a couple times like mostly like that one sticky for no reason uh whereas this set ak got some shit grenade air dash attack of course they're gonna hit really far. And then that dash tag, Leo did not DI that right because he was not expecting to get hit. And then, yeah, took so much damage there from the down throw. You should basically, like, I don't know. Here I probably would have get up attacked and then probably got hit, but it wouldn't have been for 40 damage. Like, you're, I feel like you're just not supposed to roll into C4. Like, if you're at death percent, it's like a mix up, sure. But like, if you're not gonna die to anything, just don't take the C4, it does the most damage. And then that down air somehow hitting that back air. And then hitting the air dodge to ledge. Nice aim on the Nikita. I definitely think one of AK's weakest parts is his Nikita, which means like, oh, if his Nikitas are hitting in a set, like, you're probably fucked. Because <laughs> that's like his worst, like, aspect as a, as a snake. Yup, there's the two stock. Of course, Joker doesn't really have great ways to hit snake off of Cypher other than back air when it's one or two fresh, which I think it was in this case. So we definitely could have just back aired him but probably was scared to for some reason. Yeah, hasn't used a back air yet, so definitely could have just back aired, but like AK was pretty close to the stage, so he tries to get a forward air to hit the air dodge. Doesn't get it, the Cypher hits. Of course, Leo here wasted his double jump, and he's like, okay, well I have to early up because he's not gonna fall down and do it, because that's silly, even though like he could have, but whatever. So then he back airs the tether reel in, and then he's like, okay, now I'm gonna wait a little bit because I have to because I don't have my tether bounce, and AK does no. Like, could have technically downbeat and been fine, but like, why? So dash attack, downer hit the double jump, and then the nair, ooh. The downer to hit the up B bounce? Damn, that was sick as f Oh, Ford are not gonna land its mark. 
Also, never ever do this. If you are, again, playing as a snake player, never neutral get up. There is no point. If you're going to neutral get up, just roll forward. If snake reads roll forward and runs at you and you neutral get up, he hits you anyway. So you might as well roll forward. Don't neutral get up versus snake. It's like the worst option by far. There's hitting the fastball air dodge. But again, losing Arsene here is kind of huge because Snake obviously can kill way better than Joker can without Arsene. And so if he's able to get like one more hit, he's going to die to up tilt. I think Town, he probably lives this one. Maybe not. He got there? Damn. I feel like Leo was DIing down, not left. You have to be ready that if you're going to attack Snake, you have to be ready to just DI away so that you can't get hit by the grenade follow-ups. That's like super important. And again, AK has been capitalizing so well. Like AK is playing fantastically. And then if you're not like if you're not doing all of the anti-snake stuff perfectly against these top snake players, especially AK, you're just gonna lose. Yep, there's a Nikita. He's not dead. God damn it! <laughs> I'm so mad this worked. I think Joker does get a punish here, but he didn't jump backwards. Like he didn't jump full backwards with this down air. Like you're supposed to jump backwards then down air as opposed to down air and drift backwards. And that led to this whole situation. And then the down throw instant up tilt because for some reason people wait there. For some reason people wait there. Like fine, that was like the first disadvantage punish he's gotten a long time. And again, well that one was better, but still missed. But like that's because it's just kind of hard to get that there. And the up smash not hitting. And then that, that dash attack was so greedy. Like, in this case, you just kind of, like, got to keep stage. Dude, I'm so happy I have Thunder Jolt. Because I'm like, oh, something weird happened, and I'm not sure if I can punish Thunder Jolt. This, and just get my offense later. Because, like, how, how many frames was Leo off here? Like, I can't imagine it's a ton. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four frames off. Does Apollo... Yeah, Apollo Kaga holds back, because you're probably trying to SDI that way. So that was good. Again, just AK overall playing really solid. Again, my perspective of a bunch of these things is things to do versus Snake, so I'm sorry that I viewed it through the lens of the opponent. That's just kind of how I work, and it's literally impossible for me not to. But AK just played so solid that those little times that they were messing up, like those small things, it adds up to so much, and AK played so solid and had the couple of moments of brilliance, especially against Leo. He's been on a tear recently. Been playing super well, basically only losing to super top players. And uh, Peanut. <laughs> Shout out to Peanut. Uh, and yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Again, there will be more Summit content. I'll see you all next time.